This AP Psychology review video is for the psychologists of cognition in the cognition unit, motivation, emotion, and stress units. Cognition, we've got Chomsky, Ebbinghaus, Kohler, Loftus, and George Miller. Ebbinghaus studied memory with nonsense syllables, created what was known as the forgetting curve. He also um, discovered what was known as a ser serial position effect with the primacy and recency effects. Also the learning curve, which is uh, similar to the forgetting curve, but um, flip it upside down. He also discovered the spacing effect. Massed practice is not as good as spaced practice. And he also created an illusion, which is down in the bottom right corner of your screen. Noam Chomsky, father of modern linguistics, talked about universal grammar, which allows everyone who, assuming they're, they're, they're healthy, allows everyone to learn their native language in very little time. And so he called uh, the device in the brain the language acquisition device, our innate ability to easily learn our native language. Wolfgang Kohler uh, contributed to Gestalt psychology, discovered the Phi phenomenon, active against structuralists and behaviorists, and worked with Kafka and Wertheimer on Gestalt approach to psychology. George Miller was a cognitive psychologist. He worked with Chomsky on psycholinguistics. He also added the idea of working memory to the short-term memory. He discovered the use of chunking and combining ideas to make it more easy to remember a great deal of information and he's most famous for the magic number of seven plus or minus two the idea that our short-term memories our working memory can only handle about seven bits of information at a time between five and nine is the uh, the actual range but uh, the magic number of seven plus or minus two Elizabeth Loftus a cognitive psychologist studied memory a great deal and how malleable or how changeable memory is because memory is, is not infallible, it isn't quite, uh, quite in fact filled with mistakes and errors, um, she researched repressed, recovered, and false memories and discovered that essentially that recovered and false memories were actually created from scratch and not actually true memories in that sense. She's also studied the misinformation effect in eyewitness testimony in terms of the questions being asked by the interviewers who are asking about uh, people's eyewitness testimony. In the motivation and emotion unit, we go from William James all the way through the theories of emotion. William James, uh, we've looked at him in a couple of other uh, video clips, and so check him out there. Alfred Kinsey was the most famous sexologist in the world. He studied the sexual behavior in men and women, produced what was called the Kinsey Report. He also created the Kinsey Scale, uh, a continuum from heterosexuality to homosexuality, he was heavily criticized for his methods because he dared speak of sex in a time when sex was not spoken of out in the open. And because he did that, and with his Kinsey reports, he helped influence the sexual revolution by bringing sex into the open. Abraham Maslow, you notice the big smile there. He is a humanistic psychologist. He focused on humans' positive qualities, not looking at them as bags of symptoms. He was part of the third wave of psychology in response to Freud and Skinner with the psychoanalytic and behavioral points of view. Created the hierarchy of needs, you see that famous pyramid, at the top of which is self-actualization. People who are self-actualizers will often have peak experiences, and even though it didn't uh, catch on early on, the idea of positive psychology, which is now an aspect and a point of view within psychology, uh, came actually from Maslow. Stanley Schachter uh, worked with Kurt Lewin and Leon Festinger and created the two-factor theory of emotion, which is to say all emotions have two parts, both physiological arousal and the label of what it means. That's the cognition portion of it, and that's Stanley Schachter. Hans Sale, yes, I know that's a, a, an odd-looking pronunciation, but I understand that's correct. Hans Sale, he was a stress researcher and endocrinologist. He created the, uh, the general adaptation, adaptation syndrome, the idea of alarm, resistance, and exhaustion. He also attempted to connect physiology and the endocrine system to stress. And that ends this section.